Alberta already has one COVID field hospital, which only came into use this fall. But with hospitalizations and ICU capacity stretched and in some cases overflowing, tonight it's asking for help so that it's ready to build more. As CBC News first reported, Alberta has asked the Red Cross about providing two field hospitals and the federal government about two more, if and when existing hospitals are overwhelmed. The Premier says it's for contingency planning, not needed immediately. While there are about 16 hospitals under significant stress right now and a lot of healthcare workers are exhausted, uh, the reality is that, that we have and can continue to create capacity as we expect, quite bluntly, the hospitalization numbers to go up uh, given uh, the, the new cases in the last uh, few weeks. Public safety hasn't received a formal request from Alberta yet or any other provinces and territories. Both federal and provincial sources say discussions so far do not include any plans to staff the field hospitals. A concern to those who have been raising alarms about health care capacity. I do have concerns about our ability to staff four field hospitals in the province. We are already very stretched thin with the staffing we have available for the hospitals that we have right now. There is some flexibility left in the health care system by cancelling surgeries, for example, and redeploying qualified staff to COVID care. But the bigger concern from some doctors is what expanded medical capacity will do without tougher public health restrictions. This basically means that our health system is inevitably going to be overwhelmed. And the fact that the province is asking for federal intervention for field hospitals, but has not instituted a lockdown is completely negligent. So, Carolyn, just to be clear, the Premier and Health Minister seem very clear that these field hospitals are just for contingency planning. But, but when does this turn into action? Well, Adrian, so Alberta Health Minister Tyler Shandro is meeting with his federal counterpart tonight, as a matter of fact, trying to hash out what's needed and when. And after that, it's really up to the province to put in a formal request. Now, we don't know when that's going to happen, but what is nearly certain is that the number of ICU admissions and hospitalizations is going to rise in Alberta in the coming days. All right, Carolyn Dunn in Calgary tonight. Thanks, Carolyn.